Going to put the pressure on once again early. Inboard kick is good. Now running mark is taken. The umpires paid a push out though. So it was uh, in the end it was Zach Sproul. Sproul and he's gesturing as if he gave the forearm. Umpire not having any of it. Tazzy move it wide through Lovell. Just a little bit slower at the moment as the teams are feeling each other out. I think the ground's probably a little bit heavier than what, what was ex going yeah. to be expected as well up here on the Gold Coast. Mm. Well, the Queensland under-18s couldn't train on the ground Gee. last night. So. Right. Yeah. Southport to Franklin. Handball back. Bachelor. He's one to watch. To Lovell. Didn't quite control it. Ball probably a little bit slippery. He's, he's, here he is here. Now he is. number 41 at the bottom of the pack. He's a really hard inside midfielder. Uh... Other leaders, you know, you've got blokes like Tom Fall, who's a 19-year-old volleyballer, um, who's only been playing in the in the AFL footy for about three years. So, you know, he, he showed... to move it on quickly. It might be Conan there. Big punch over the top by Pierce. Did well to affect the contest. Yeah, that's hurt, McFadden. So the, the premise behind the rule is to allow the game to flow and not get too bogged down like it can at, uh, at AFL level, where you can have all the players pushing up into one part of the ground. It was inside 50... Good work in close there from plenty of the Tassie players. A spin from Lovell and then a shot on goal goes wide of the mark and hits the behind post. Out of bounds on the full. Most of them are up here at the moment. Lovell Jacob again. Hopper in a bit of trouble uh, just came off, guys. Looks like it's a dislocation. 18s. Live and exclusive on uh, afl.com.au. Guys, noticed, uh, noticed something about the setups? No, it's more the wind in the trees that I've noticed. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. Down that, I don't think Tasmania scored this quarter or struggling to score, struggling to move the ball forward. Lovell from the kick in, sharked it and kicked to the hot spot. Talk that we can hear out there, guys. It must be uh, very pleasing to hear that already the guys are demanding the footy from, from players, as you said, that they may not have ever met before. <laughs> Yeah, from New South Wales perspective, that's right. They haven't spent a lot of time together, so it's always important that they start to get a bit familiar with those players. And that's going to take a little bit of time, you know, as I suppose, between players calling for the ball in their talk and, and, and talking really constructively uh, out on the field, which you, you, you did generally... Because he's getting a lot of the ball and uh, he's had some, some good opportunities. Well, that's the positive. He's getting a lot of the ball. So you just can t tell him to keep working hard. It'll, it'll turn. Yeah. Lovell, Pierce, loved his work rate, really, guys. Uh, 7 or, or 96, and, or 96, 97, 98 uh, makes up their years of birth. Another turnover, Lovell, in a couple of mines and then wrapped up and didn't get rid of it uh, in time, the umpire. A little bit of pressure inside their defensive 50. They clear it eventually, but it might come back. But they've got runners in the corridor and... Yeah, New South Wales just having a couple of injury worries too here. Uh, Jaden Reimer uh, hurt himself in the first half. He probably won't come back on, I don't think. And and back in the middle of the ground and ball up. Tazzy out to 23 point advantage. Good work there from Lovell. Won the hard one on one there at centre half back and then handballed wide. And uh, short 45 kick into the corridor wasn't great, but uh, Tassie yet to capitalise. Now Hayden and now Lovell. Another possession for him. Might even be the leading possession getter on the ground, or maybe he's been surpassed. Up to 23, yep. Take turn. Hopper 22 for New South Wales. Good ball. Touch ball play on. Good work and good awareness from Sprawl to hit the ground running and then. He was stripped of the footy. Lovell. Over the distributor. Gets the one-two with Hayden and then kicks wide. Different angles and they'll evaluate players' performances on how they influence the game, not just necessarily on how many possessions. So um, a player like Lovell who's up to 26 disposals now, they'll almost get a, a heat map about where he uh, accumulated his possessions and he's been really damaging as well. Lovell, good mark from behind. And that's perfect from Lovell. He's only small, but he's got the ability to mark the ball overhead. Think of Jimmy Bartell, 183 centimetres, uh, Brownlow medalist, three-time premiership player for Geelong, but has the ability to mark the ball overhead. Tricked third quarter, bag two goals, and look very lively up forward. Once again, Tazzy going forward. 
kick in the direction there of Dodge. Kicked a goal in the first quarter. Managed to trap this one. Kicks around the corner. Oh, it's a good start for Tassie. Of course, that type of play, he, he, he normally cover, covers around 14 Ks a game. So he, he really does work hard. Yeah. What, what, what would be the average uh, amount of Ks that these guys would cover? cover? Most of our midfields are around the 12 to 13 kilometre mark, but it's more, it's more that the intensity efforts need to be probably higher. Lovell, he's certainly been working reasonably hard. Dodge, long down the wing. Tapped out McFadden with the head bandage on. Lovell once again. Won the handball, it's good to Smith. Picked up, kicked long inside 50. Two on one, favouring New South Wales. Ten points the margin. Tassie leading this one. That kick's good out in front of Lovell, who kept on running. Can go long to Quinn. That's the Ooh. direction he goes. Dropped a mark, he should have taken it allowed. The Rams to gain possession of the ball, but they've coughed it up as well. Pierce in, oh sorry, Quinn in there once again. Baron Hay got the handball out though, and New South Wales win possession of the ball. Kick down the line, though. Shark by Denellen at half back. And now he can go wide to level. He takes the mark just backwards of the wing far side. His 38th possession for the day. Quite control it. Now Tassie working it around the back, but they're going a long way backwards to go Oof. forwards. Lovell must Oof. be close to 40 touches. That kick wasn't his Oof. best, though, and it's cut off. New South Wales... Might be starting to take a toll now, especially the big ruckman. Yep. Denellen, close to the boundary line. Lovell overran it. And it, now it spills out of... It's been a, a really strong performance from him. Where is he? He's no doubt around the footy. Little handball in front there from Lovell towards Smith, back to Lovell. Falls made the smother and then was taken out of play. Boundary throw in. Another great tackle. A clearance that Tasmania might win through Pierce. He left it behind though. Didn't quite manage to get disposal. Lovell picked up and gathered and then kicked long in the Rainbird direction. Edged his opponent under the footy. Allowed him to run back. And then